What's up everyone, it's Kelly and today I've got a stamping video for you. So today I am doing something new. I'm actually trying a stamping kit from Amazon and I was actually thinking of making this a series because there are so many different brands that sell stamping supplies on Amazon and it can get a little bit overwhelming. I feel like there's just so many options. So I feel like it would be really cool for me to buy them, test them out and tell you if I think they're worth it. By the way, if you are very new to stamping or if you have no idea idea what I'm talking about. I do have a whole nail polish 101 video on nail stamping, basically just everything that you need to know about stamping. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check that out first and then come back. <laughs> but yeah, so I bought a stamping kit off of Amazon. I'm going to try it out for you today. And if you enjoy it, maybe we can make this a series. So this is the one that I bought for today. This is a brand called Beauty, but it's spelled B-I-U-T-E-E. -E. And they actually have a ton of stuff on Amazon, different stamping products. So I thought that would be a good place to start. And I actually found that they have this whole kit on Amazon with basically everything that you need. So this one in particular is called, I have to read it because it's a very long name. It's called Beauty Nail Stamping Plates Set 10 Pieces with Stamper Storage Bag Nail Art Plates Set Templates Animal Flower Alphabet Stars Heart Design. They really wanted to get in that that search engine optimization there. This particular kit actually does come with a lot of stuff and it was really inexpensive. I ended up getting it for $11.99. It did say it was on sale, but it's still $11.99. So hopefully that's just a permanent sale going on, but it comes with 10 different stamping plates. All of them are different designs. It also comes with a stamper, which is double-sided. So there's a large side and then there's a small side. And then it also comes with a pack of replacement stamper heads. So the little squishy part. So again, we have a big one and a small one. We also have two little beauty branded scrapers, which is basically just like a little mini credit card. And then this also actually comes with this little booklet where you can actually store your nail polish plates. So there's a bunch, I th there must be more than 10 in here. So there's actually 12 double-sided pages in here. So you can technically fit 24 stamping plates in this little pouch, which I think is really nice for storage. It's very hard to store stamping plates if you don't have a little case. And then we also got a little mini booklet which has instructions on how to do it. And then they have this little page with different design ideas. Although I will say it's kind of hard to see what the designs are on here. <laughs> So yeah, honestly, just based on the amount of stuff that you get, I was really impressed with this kit. If I bought this stuff individually, which is what I do tend to do with my stamping products, this would have ended up being a lot more. So just based on that alone, I was impressed, but I was also a little bit worried that this might be a little too good to be true. If it's that cheap, maybe not good quality. So I was really curious to try it out. So now let's go over the plate designs just so you can see what actually comes in the kit and you don't get to choose your designs, obviously, but there really is a lot of different stuff going on here. Just a quick note, they do come with the blue protective film over them, so you do need to peel that before you actually start stamping with them. They do have numbers on them, so we'll go in order. The first one is 34, and we do have a lot of full nail designs. And the first thing I noticed with this is that the designs are really big, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. We've got some little stars, some squiggles, we've got chevrons, circles, basically just fun cute patterns on here. Then we have number 35 and this one is a lot of really cool geometric designs. So we've got a lot of triangles and squares, different interesting shapes here. Again, really big designs. Number 36 is more lacy kind of patterns. So we have a lot of floral looks and most of these are full nail designs, but we also have a couple of just straight lace pieces that you can use for accents on your nail. Then number Number 38 is a cat themed plate. So we've got a lot of different cat silhouettes. And then we also have some random stuff. We've got like little paw prints, hearts. We've got some speech bubbles, which are pretty cute. Number 41 is more geometric kind of patterns. We've got more diamonds and triangles and little chevrons and arrows and stuff like that. There's also a few little detail pieces that you could potentially put around the cuticle area of your nails. Number 42 seems to be more dream catcher oriented. We've We've got a lot of different dream catcher designs on the top. And then on the bottom, we have some more whimsical looking designs. And then we've got little bubbles. We've got feathers, just basically your typical dream catcher kind of vibe. Number 39 is interesting. It's another full nail 
design plate. The top seems more like lacy designs and then the bottom is more kind of hard to describe these but there is a lot of different options on here and I think it's interesting the bottom ones they really have split up into sections so like this one star design has multiple different options on it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear those all together or if it's just pieces that are meant for parts of your nail and you kind of pick and choose. Then we have number 43. This one is all like little leaves and plants although there's a couple of random YouTube logos on here which is actually pretty cute and then we have some random words on here. It says like dream, power, travel, love. Number 44 is interesting. I feel like a lot of people would look at this and be a little bit concerned that it's not real designs but when I see this type of plate I always think this is perfect for layering for a kind of marble or turquoise look. So we have a lot of different sort of randomized designs that look like little cracks or fissures and stuff like that. And then finally we have at number 45 in the middle we have some full nail designs that are kind of like lacy and then on the two sides we have some French tip designs. Now I do want to show you a bunch of different designs using these plates just so you can get a feel for them but before we start I do want to actually mention when I'm using a new stamper one thing that I like to do sometimes these stampers tend to be a little bit oily so I like to prime them and the way I prime them is I'll pop out the little squishy stamper head and I'll put it on a piece of paper and I'll just let it sit on that piece of paper overnight. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything but when you check on it the next day you'll see that there's kind of just this ring of oil and I think that pulling that oil out with the paper really makes it easier to stamp products. So if you ever have an issue with your stamper and you're not able to pick up designs that is what I recommend doing and that is what I did for both of these stamper heads. So yeah let me show you my experience with these stamping plates and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you about the good and the bad and whether I recommend it overall. So let's roll the stamping footage. So diving into the actual stamping portion of this video first I want to quickly show you just how big these stamping designs are compared to my nail. So when I say that they are big they are double the size of my nail at least. So there is a lot of room in here for longer nails which I think is good and bad but again I'll talk about that more later. But I wanted to dive in with a full nail design. So I started off with this more floral looking one from the lacy plate and I just wanted to basically get a feel for how this stamping kit worked and how it ended up applying on my nails and my first impression was that I really liked it. It did apply very nicely. It got all of the detail on my nail and it was very easy to work with so I wasn't like rushing in a crazy way. I was moving fast because you have to with stamping but I wasn't absolutely rushing to get it onto my nail because the plates are etched deep enough that I didn't have to worry. However because this plate was so big I feel like I really lost the design on my nail. It kind of just looks like a cool abstract abstract design. So I wanted to try to make one of the full plate designs work for me and luckily there are a lot of designs on here that are a little bit more tightly knit so even if you don't get the whole thing onto your nail you're still going to be able to get that full design on there. So this was the next one that I tried and also quick tip if you are stamping onto your nail and you get a lot on the skin around your nail you can always use a little piece of scotch tape and kind of peel off any excess stamping polish on your nail. It's a really easy way to remove it. So here is how that second design looked and I think because it was a much more tightly knit design it ended up looking a lot nicer on the nails and even though I didn't technically get the full design on there I could still see everything that was going on those nice flowers in the middle and then the little mesh bits on top and the kind of I guess different mesh bits on the bottom. So definitely enjoyed that. I wanted to take a quick break from the full nail design plates and work with some of these single images that you can kind of just apply one in the center of your nail or you could do a few. So I wanted to have a little leafy design kind of going off of the edge of my nail. So I used a couple of different designs off of the one plate that has a bunch of different leaves on there. I thought that would be a really fun way and one cool thing that I feel like can be done with this plate is doing a little bit of layering
using different leaves with different fall colors for the fall but this vibe that I was going for was a little bit more of like a tropical summery vibe and I think I actually did achieve that. I think it looked really good. For the most part they applied really smoothly and easily on my nails. You can see there was like one little tiny bit that didn't go but I would say for the most part the full design does come onto the nail very easily without having little patches that are missing which happens to me a lot with different stamping plates. So at this point I was feeling pretty confident and I decided to try doing something that I don't normally reach for with stamping and that is these French tips and there's a lot of different designs on here. I thought that the stars were the prettiest so I decided to try that first but again I think we came into the issue that my nails are just a little bit too small for this type of design because it was so sparse. It almost just looked like I randomly stamped stars on the bottom half of my nail so I didn't love the way that that one looked and I also just feel like there wasn't any amount of curvature to the design especially with how small my nails are so I decided to go in with a different one one that I thought had a little bit more of a distinct curve and one that had a little bit tighter of a design because again I found that these tighter designs work a little bit better on shorter nails and I don't think this looks good to be honest but I think I just went a little bit too high up on my nail but again I don't think it had that much of a curve so I didn't love that but I am going to still try to make that work so I'll, I'll keep working on it. Now this next design is the one that I think I was the most excited about. I love the way that these squiggles look and I had this idea in my mind that I could use that Mars inspired shade from the Orly NASA collab and then a lighter rose gold kind of color and do just these really cool Martian swirly kind of vibes like almost the way that Mars looks except for after I applied this I was thinking to myself this just looks like bacon which is fine if you're looking for bacon nails but it kind of ruined the beauty of it for me but hey this would actually be a really great accent nail if you wanted to do like little sunny side up eggs on your nails and then have a little bacon accent nail it's still cute it's just not the martian vibe i was going for and then the final design that i wanted to try was to do a little bit of layering with some jelly nail polish in between so i thought it would be perfect to take this sort of marble stony kind of abstract design and layer it over my nails and the one thing that's pretty consistent throughout this experiment is that these stamps apply incredibly nicely. I think they're so easy to use and as you can see there's really no pieces that just don't get picked up by the stamper so I thought that was really impressive. I definitely enjoyed working with it. In this case I did think it ended up being a cool abstract design. Maybe it's just the color choices that I picked but I feel like it kind of looked a little bit more like spider webby cobwebs in the attic kind of vibe and just layers of that. Maybe that would even be cooler with a black jelly. But yeah, it wasn't exactly the vibe I was going for, but I do think this plate would be very good for that sort of style in general. Okay, so now that you've seen my experience with the stampers, let me just say overall, I was impressed with these. I think one of the things with trying random brands like this is you can find the most beautiful plates, but sometimes the design won't even come off of the plate when you're trying to stamp it. So just being able to take it off of the plate in itself is a good thing. So if you're just looking for surface level, does it work? The answer is yes. But let me talk to you in a little bit more detail about what I liked and what I didn't like. Obviously, the price of this is great. You get a lot for your money. I think this is a perfect beginner kit because it comes with everything that you need to get started with stamping. Now, it doesn't come with stamping polishes specifically, which is what I used in my little showcase. But you don't necessarily need stamping polishes as long as you're working with a polish that's opaque and doesn't dry too too quickly to transfer over onto your nail you're going to be able to use this kit. Another good thing about this kit is that the designs are etched incredibly deeply. I can tell when I run my nail over the designs that these are actually etched in a little bit deeper than most brands that I use which I think is very impressive. It makes it a lot easier to get all the little details of the plate design and I also find that with with the more shallow etching on some brands, it makes the polish dry a lot quicker. So you have to work even faster to get it onto your nail. But with these, I was able to work at a slightly slower pace. I am doing this on camera, so I need to kind of change the focus in between me doing it. And it still was able to apply onto my nail. Whereas some brands, it just does not work like that for me. <laughs> Having that deeper etch design is twofold. It makes it easier to pick up the intricate details and it also 
makes you not have to work as super fast in order to get it onto your nail. The next good thing about this kit is the designs themselves. I think they were really cute. They had a lot of good options. And since there are 10 plates in here, you're bound to find some stuff that you're going to like. I also really appreciated not only having the double-sided stamper, but having the two extra stamper heads. Now, this is not a beginner thing, but if you're into the more advanced techniques like reverse stamping or what I like to call advanced stamping, where you paint different colors into the stamp design, you can actually prepare four nails at the same time because you have four stamper heads to work with. So that's really nice as you get more involved in stamping, you can do more detailed stuff and you don't have to buy extra stamper heads. Another thing I liked was having the clear stamper. Now, since it is double-sided, by default, you can't see through, but you can pop off the little stamper on the end you're not using and that makes it clear to see through so you can apply the design exactly where you want to on your nail. And then the final good thing that I want to mention is that the plate designs are really big. So even if you have long nails or if you want to do it on your toenails, which I don't know about you, but my big toe definitely has like a wide nail bed. So it's hard to find stamping products that actually work for it. This does work on longer and bigger nails. So now let's talk about the bad. I did mention that having the bigger designs is a good, but it's also a bad because I personally have pretty small nails. So a lot of these designs just did not fit on my nails. There are techniques for using these types of plates anyway. There are a couple of brands that do have shrinking stampers that make the design a little bit smaller and can fit on your nails. I have done a review of one in the past, but I do have another one that I am going to be reviewing very soon. So stay tuned for that. Another bad thing, I noticed that the French tip designs on here, I don't know, I was just having issues with them. I feel like the ideal French tip stamp is one that has a very strong curve so that it really looks like a French tip on the nails. I kept on finding that with these, it looked very straight across on mine and it almost made it look like I had stamped, but I missed my nail. So I only got like a, the lower part of my nail stamped. Now that could just be user error. And it could also be that it just doesn't work for my nail shape or for how small my nails are. But I did find that to be a point of frustration. And then the final bad thing that I want to mention is that the plates backing is unfinished. So a lot of times brands will put a plastic backing on a stamping plate. And what that does is it'll actually protect you from the sharp edges of the metal. This one is not finished. So the edges are really sharp. So you can cut yourself on it if you're not careful. And because it doesn't have that plastic backing, it's not acetone resistant. I did notice when I was getting little bits of polish on the back of my stamp, which happens all the time for me, I would try to wipe it off with acetone and it would start like getting this really weird texture on it, which I didn't love. I did notice that it was fine when I used regular nail polish remover, even with acetone, as long as it wasn't pure acetone. But I did want to mention that it's just something to keep in mind when you're working with cheaper nail plates, they tend to not be finished. So you have to be just a little bit more careful with them. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the good and the bad. But overall, like I said, I think that this is a big thumbs up. I think the kit is really great. I love the different designs in here. I love all the different options. I love that it came with everything you need. And I love that it's under $15 as a price point. I think that's really just the best part is that it's making nail stamping as a hobby a lot more accessible for people because stamping products can get a little bit expensive. So yeah, it has its flaws, but I think it's a very good beginner kit. And I think if you like the designs on here, you don't even have to be a beginner. It's just nice to have more stamping products. So yeah, the first Amazon stamping product of the series is a thumbs up for me. And I actually had a lot of fun testing this out and, you know, really taking my time and thinking about what I liked and what I didn't like about the kit. So if you enjoyed this type of video, definitely let me know in the comments, give this one a thumbs up and I can know to make it a series. And we don't just have to focus on kits like this. I can do stamping plates. I can do stamping polishes, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments if you have any requests or recommendations. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and put up new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have a vlog channel if you want to get to know me a little bit more outside of nail polish. I do talk about other things on that channel, so definitely check that out. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Courtney. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I feel like I say this every time I do a stamping video, but my fun fact for today is that 
stamping is so much more accessible now than it used to be when I first got started with stamping. When I first got started, there was really just one brand that you could buy and it was, you had to buy it specifically on their website and they came out with these kits of these little stamping designs. First of all, I have small nails and the designs, even the full nail designs would be so small that I couldn't even get them on, like I would have to do multiple stamps to get a full design on my nail. You couldn't pick anything. They were like huge stamping kits and they had like four designs on each plate. So I, I am just endlessly excited about how far stamping has come as a hobby. And I actually do think it's really cool that a lot of brands are popping up on Amazon. I think it's nice and makes it a lot more accessible for people. So yeah. Fun fact, I'm just glad that stamping is getting easier and I'm really curious to see what it's going to look like in a few years because I wonder how many more advances there are going to be to the stamping world. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.